the Elmwood Park Mayor and Council for May 20th, 2021 at 8 p.m. <clears throat> On roll call, Council Members Balestieri. Here. Fakori. Here. Fasolo. Here. Golubek. Here. Pellegrin. Here. Council President Wetchler, absent. Mayor Coletti. Here. We have a quorum. Thank you, Marlene. Uh, we'd like to welcome everyone here this evening. And a fine evening it is at that. A great week we're having, and just what we need to get us out of those dark clouds that we've been living under with this virus. So let's get started. Could everybody please rise for our prayer and flag salute. Oh God, we ask you to bless our meeting, which we entrust to your care and protection. Please remove all selfishness and prejudice from our hearts and implant therein a keen sense of justice and a greater love for you and our neighbors. Guide us in our deliberations so that our decisions will always please you and bring your peace and happiness to our community. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Whereas chapter 231 of the public laws of the state of New Jersey require at the commencement of every meeting a statement of compliance be read by the presiding officer. Now, therefore, be advised that the meeting requirements for this meeting have been met by publishing an annual notice in the record in Herald News of Woodland Park. And by posting such notice in the office of the borough clerk, as well as in a place public within the municipal building and by notifying interested citizens. Notice was posted on January 8th, 2021 and published on January 13th, 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, this meeting is being videotaped and will be on Cablevision Channel 77 on Monday at 3 p.m. and Thursdays at 11.30 a.m. The video will also be available on the Barrel's website at www.elmwoodparknj.us. Marlene? Okay. Uh, next on, on the agenda is uh, for approval of minutes. We have the minutes from May 6, 2021 special meeting. May 6, 2021 work session meeting and May 6, 2021 executive session. Motion on the minutes, please. So moved. Second. Any discussion? Call the roll. Um, Ballesteri? Yes. Fakori? Yes. Fasolo? Yes. Golubek? Yes. Pellegrin? Yes. Okay, that's right. Motion moved. <laughs> Um, Mayor, at this time, we must have the Bergen County Open uh, Space Grant application public hearing. Can I have a motion to open the floor? So moved. Uh, Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, before we do that, though, Mike, would you mind elaborating a little on the... Sure. This is a grant we're applying for, for the upgrades to Borough Field. Um, our intention, if we get the money... Uh, is to turf uh, certain aspects of that field um, for the teams that use it, uh, baseball, soccer, and whatever, as far as we can go. Thank you. Anyone from the public here to comment on this application? If not, I will close the public portion. Okay, can I have a motion to close? Yep. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you. Okay. Uh, next, um, I will now turn the portion of the meeting to Police Chief Feligno for the presentation of a detective badge to Shad Giamangia Camaro. <laughs> Sorry, I butchered that. <laughs> Thank you, Marlene. So, Mayor and Council, members of the public, police department, tonight we are appointing Officer Shad Giacomaro to the position of detective. <laughs> Shad is a 15-year veteran of the police department. He is a field training officer, real, real good family man. You can see his beautiful family here sitting, sitting here in, in attendance. Um, exemplary father, husband, 
uh, a person that we all look up to in that in that role and in his role as a police officer. Uh, he is 15 years, and we have a very young police department now with a lot of retirements and a lot of new uh, officers backfilling. And we lean on Shad and other officers that are in attendance to uh, be mentors to the newer uh, officers, and Shad does a remarkable job of that in his role as a field training officer. Uh, he served his time, the, the position is there, and he's my choice. I think he's gonna make me proud and he's gonna make Mayor and Council proud. Um, he's, he doesn't need a lot of supervision. He follows up and he's self-motivated. So Shad, come on up and get your shield. Sorry, I butchered your name. <laughs> okay. Marlene, before before we okay. <laughs> before we go uh, forward, uh, how about some comments from the council on what we just saw, the celebration of this moment, Mr. Fasola? I want to congratulate you, uh, Detective Giacomaro. Um, 15 years of service, dedicated service to the community. Um, definitely. Well deserved. Uh, congratulations and stay safe. Thank you, Mr. Fasola. Mr. Golombek. Detective Giacomaro, good luck. Congratulations. Um, when it came up that you'd be promoted, I asked the chief, you know, why and all the different, you know, and, and he had an absolutely glowing review, and that, you know, means a lot to me. So, uh, congratulations, all the best. Thank you. Councilwoman Pellegrin? Yes, congratulations, Chad, on receiving your detective badge tonight. Sorry about my voice. Very well deserved. This is a very proud moment for you and your family. You consistently demonstrate leadership and dedication to our community. I wish you many more successful years here in Elmwood Park. God bless you and always stay safe. And I also heard rave reviews from the chief about you. He couldn't say enough when he spoke to me and I know you for a few years now and definitely well deserved. So congratulations to you and your beautiful family. Councilman Fukori, I love to say that name. Thank you, Mayor. <laughs> we were just talking about it. Chad, congratulations. I know they butchered your name, but they couldn't do it worse for me, so don't worry. Um, congratulations to you and your family. Be safe out there. Make the chief proud and make the town proud. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman. And let us not forget our, our invisible Councilwoman. <laughs> I'll have to keep it a little short because I have mouth surgery, but I do want to say congratulations, Detective, on all your hard work and le leadership. It's certainly well-deserved. We're very proud of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Sandy. And uh, let me say that uh, tonight you make uh, that blue uniform look very good. Uh, it's a great accomplishment that you rise in the ranks. It shows that you're focused and you have such a beautiful family. I can see where you get the impetus to be such a, a good police officer. Uh, but this is the type of uh, moves we like to see. Uh, advancement, people that deserve it, earn it. And I'm sure you'll go much further. Congratulations.
Thank you, guys. Marlene? Okay. Now, moving on to ordinances being read on first reading. Resolution R-188-21, ordinate, introduce ordinance number 21-11 on first reading. Be it resolved that an ordinance entitled Von Ordinance to authorize the making of a public improvement and the acquisition of new or new additional or replacement equipment and machinery, new communication and signal system equipment, and new automotive vehicles, including uh, original apparatus and equipment, in, by, and for the borough of Elmwood Park in the county of Bergen, state of New Jersey, to appropriate the sum of $1,520,000 uh, to pay the cost thereof to appropriate borough trust funds money to make a down payment to authorize the issuance of bonds to finance such appropriation and to provide for the issuance of a bonds anticipation notes in anticipation of the issuance of such bonds be passed and adopted on first reading and be it resolved that a final hearing on said ordinance will be heard in the municipal building on Thursday, June 17th, 2021 at 7 p.m. or soon thereafter as same can be heard at which time any persons interested in said ordinance can be heard. Be it further resolved that the borough clerk be and she is hereby authorized to advertise in a legal newspaper a notice of introduction and final hearing as required by law. Mr. Feligno, would you like to break that down for us, please? Yes, Mayor, we talked about this last meeting. This is the bond ordinance for equipment in the police department, basketball courts for the rec and borough parks, and equipment for the DPW, uh, specifically for the police department, car cameras, uh, for all the uh, police cars are upgrading. They're, they're quite a few years old. We need to sync them with our body cameras. Um, SUVs for the PD, uh, dump truck, I'm sorry, a uh, couple of vehicles for the um, DPW, and like I said, the basketball courts for the rec. We're also doing pedestrian warning signs, LED flashing warning signs for five locations on Mola Boulevard. Thank you, Mr. Feligno. May I have a motion on the ordinance? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Call the roll, please. Balasiri? Yes. Fakori? Yes. Fasolo? Yes. Golabek? Yes. Pellegrin? Yes. Motion passed. Yep. Okay. Moving along. Okay. Uh, we also have three ordinances being read on second reading. Um, resolution R-189-21, second reading of ordinance 21-08, whereas a public notice has been given by the borough clerk that an ordinance entitled an ordinance amending the code of the borough, specifically chapter four entitled licensing and business regulations, more specifically section 4-32.2, 37.2, entitled license application, more specifically section 4-37.2B and section 4-37.3, license fee identification, same to be deleted and replaced by the language contained herein. Once Was, again, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, go ahead, you can. I can go? Let me finish. Yes, <laughs> please, uh, please go. So the ordinance was introduced and passed at a meeting held on Thursday, April 22nd, 2021, and that further consideration of this ordinance would be taken up at this meeting. And whereas all persons interested in said ordinance were given an opportunity to be heard concerning the same. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the mayor and council of the borough of Elmwood Park that an ordinance entitled an ordinance amending the code of the borough, specifically chapter four, entitled licensing and business regulation, more specifically section 4-37.2, entitled license application, more specifically section 4-37.2B and section 4-37.3, license fee identification, same to be deleted and replaced by the language contained herein. Pass on final reading. Boy, did I cut you short, huh? You did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not as quick as Erin. <laughs> no, that was quick. I was too quick. Um, my, my fault. Uh, Mike, could, could you please break that down? Yes, Mayor. We are changing the uh, office in which the applications are um, brought into the borough from the clerk's office.
to the build, building department just makes more sense. They do the follow up on these on these types of situations. So that's what this is for. Sal. Oh. I'm sorry. Agreed with that. That's. Oh yes. Well, I prepared. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he would have to agree with that. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Sal. May I have a motion to open to public? So moved. Second. Anyone from the public here to speak on this ordinance and this ordinance only? If not, I will close the public motion. May I have a motion to adopt the ordinance? So moved. Second. Okay. Call the roll, please. Ballesteri? Yes. Pecori? Yes. Fasolo? Yes. Golubek? Yes. Pellegrin? Yes. Okay, motion moved. Motion passed. Motion passed, okay. Okay. Next um, is resolution R-190-21, second reading of ordinance 21-09. Whereas a public notice has been given by the borough clerk that an ordinance entitled bond ordinance to authorize the improvement of 13th Ave, entire length, and 17th Ave, from East 53rd Street to East 55th Street in, by, and for the borough of Elmwood Park in the County of Bergen, State of New Jersey to appropriate the sum of 300000 to pay the cost thereof to make a down payment to authorize the issuance of bonds to finance such appropriation and to provide for the issuance of bond anticipation notes in anticipation of the issuance of such bonds. Was introduced and passed at a meeting held on Thursday, April 22nd, 2021 and that further consideration of this ordinance would be taken up at this meeting. And whereas all persons interested in said ordinance were given an opportunity to be heard concerning the same. Now therefore be it resolved by the mayor and council of the borough of Elmwood Park that an ordinance entitled bond ordinance to authorize the improvement of 13th Ave entire length and 17th Ave from East 53rd Street to East 55th Street in by and for the borough of Elmwood Park in the County of Bergen, state of New Jersey to appropriate the sum of $300,000 to pay the cost thereof to make a down payment to authorize the issuance of bonds to finance such appropriation and to provide for the issuance of bonds anticipation notes in anticipation of the issuance of such bonds. Pass on final reading. You could say over. <laughs> Mr. Feligno. Yes, Mayor, this is... Uh... A resolution for, the, I'm sorry, an ordinance for the CDBG uh, Community Development Block Grant for the improvements to those roadways. Uh, it's, this is a bond that's going to be reimbursed by that grant program. Thank you. Would anyone from the public care to comment on this ordinance? If not, I will close the public portion. May I have a motion to adopt the ordinance? So moved. Moved. Call the roll, please. Ballesteri? Yes. Fakori? Yes. Fasolo? Yes. Golubek? Yes. Pellegrin? Yes. <coughs> Motion passed. Moving along. Yeah. Okay. Uh, resolution R-191-21, second reading on ordinance 21-10 whereas public notice has been given by the borough clerk that an ordinance entitled an ordinance to amend chapter 7 traffic of the code of the borough of Elmwood Park more specifically article 7-13.1 parking prohibited at all times on certain streets was introduced and passed at a meeting held on Thursday April 22nd 2021 and that further consideration of this ordinance would be taken up at this meeting and whereas all persons interested in said ordinance were given an opportunity to be heard concerning the same. Now therefore be it resolved by the mayor and council of the borough of Elmwood Park that an ordinance entitled an ordinance to amend chapter seven traffic of the code of the borough of Elmwood Park, more specifically article 7-13.1, parking prohibited at all times on certain streets, pass on final reading. Thank you, Marlene. Mr. Feligno. 
Yes, Mayor, if uh, you're familiar with Church Street on uh, just off a of market by the bakery, there's a curve in the road there that some residents had some concerns about for view and sight obstructions when making the turn there or, or when negotiating the curve. Uh, we did an investigation and deemed it appropriate to block off a portion of that curve where vehicles cannot park in order to make it safer um, for the public. Thank you for that explanation. May I have a motion to open this to the public? So moved. Second. Anyone from the public here to comment on this ordinance? If not, I'll close the public portion. May I have a motion to adopt the ordinance? So moved. Second. Call the roll, please. Balasiri? Yes. Fikori? Yes. Fasolo? Yes. Golabek? Yes. Pellegrini? Yes. Okay. Motion passed. Okay. Uh, next on the agenda is the consent agenda. Oh, this is okay. Ready? Resolution 192-21, approval of payroll. R193-21, approval of bills list. 194-21, authorized vacation buybacks. 195-21, approval of additional funding, special legal counsel. 196-21, authorized purchase of a vehicle for fire prevention. 197-21, authorized purchase of equipment for the fire department. 198-21, authorized holiday buyback police department. Uh, Michael Filigno. 199-21, authorizing a grant application, Bergen County Open Space, FY2021, Borough Park Improvements. Resolution 200-21, resolution amending resolution R-102-21, a resolution authorizing approval to submit a grant application and execute a grant agreement with the New Jersey Department of Transportation for MA 2019 Phase 2 Mola Boulevard Improvements, Fiscal Year 2019. 201-21, authorized purchase of vehicle, fire Ford for the police department. 202-21, authorize emergency payment, Darren Lazorchak, Firewood and Log, LLC. 203-21, approve, approve li library repaving. 204-21, approve concrete curb apron sidewalk, sidewalk work, 246 Falmouth Avenue. 205-21, approve block party request. 206-21, resolution authorizing tax exemption for disabled veteran. 207-21, appointment of firefighters. 208-21, approval of item of revenue and appropriation, NJS 40A 4-39. 209-21, approval of items of revenue and appropriation, NJS 40A 4-39 and 210-21 resolution to approve the consent agenda. May I have a motion on the consent agenda? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Call the roll, please. Ballesteering. I recuse on R-198-21 and R-201-21, and yes on the rest. Okay, Fakori. Yes to all except R-207-21. Um, just have to make a comment. I think for a, a young person that wants the experience in town, I think they should uh, come in, get the experience. They don't have to get paid for it. Um, in the future, they might, that's but. Not, that's not that. Resolution. I'm sorry. I don't 07 think. No, that's not it. it. This is appointment of different fire. That's just an appointment. Uh, not for fire uh, prevention. Right. What does it say? What does it say for you? Appointment of a firefighter. Yeah, I think those are the volunteers. Right. Yeah. That's something different. Shakib. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. I apologize. Yes, for all then. Okay. For solo. Recused on uh, 196-21. 197-21 and 207-21. Yes to the rest. Okay, Golbeck. 
Yes. To all? Yes. And Pellegrin? Yes, to all. Uh, lastly, for our de departmental reports, we have the Board of Health meeting minutes for February 8th, 2021 and March 8th, 2021. Recreation Advisory Board meeting minutes, March 15th, 2021. Planning Board meeting minutes, March 10th, 2021. Library Board meeting minutes, March 15th, 2021. Mayor, this concludes my portion of the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Good job. May I have a motion to accept the department reports? So moved. Second. Any discussion? Call the roll, please. Oh, she didn't give me any. oh okay. okay. All in favor. All right. Good. All right. All right. It's kind of the same thing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I guess there's a reason, though for the difference, right? right? Otherwise, there wouldn't be a difference. <laughs> OK. All right. It's that time, ladies and gentlemen, for council reports. Mr. Fasolo. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Mayor. Just wanted to uh, report that yesterday, the youth committee, uh, the newly formed youth committee, had our first meeting. Um, and our first event will be the raising of the pride flag to celebrate Elmo Park's diversity and acceptance on June 1st for June 1st at 3 p.m. Uh, last night's meeting was really uh, productive um, where students uh, and, and youth in our community really want to get involved and really want to make a difference in our community and, and learn about the inner workings of, of local government uh, and really get involved in, in making our community a better place. So progress on that and really a lot of good things to come. Sounds good. Sounds like uh, the, those people were involved uh, in, in the organization and the uh, yeah, it was it? It's helping them. It was attended by uh, myself, Councilwoman Wechler, uh, Councilman Fukori, as well as ex-Councilwoman uh, Denise Ingui. So Very good. Really good group there. Good. Stay the course, Mr. Fukori. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I was also present at the <clears throat> at the youth meeting. It was great. A lot of enthusiastic uh, young minds that have a lot of uh, ideas, a lot of uh, great potential. So I see one of them is here today. Thank you for coming. Um, and I think the the town is moving in the right direction with a lot of young, young people want to be in, involved in, in the town. And with the great leadership here, I think, Mike, thank you again for everything you do. Um, and yeah. Progress, Mayor. Thank you. Councilwoman Ballesteri? Uh, yes, uh, progress, Mayor. Sorry. No, th nothing to be sorry about. Remember that old cliche, when there's nothing to talk about, don't talk about it. <laughs> it's a little hard to talk about. <laughs> that's right. That's right. You went. Uh, she went for some dental work. And yes. uh, are you in any pain? Yes, a lot. Oh, OK. That's not good. Uh, I'm council still here. <laughs> okay. Council Amin uh, Golubek. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, this past Monday, I attended the vir I attended virtually the regional meeting of the Community Development Block Grant, um, our subcommittee, CDBG, because I'm our representative. Next Monday, there will be a meeting to figure out the allocations for the, the latest round. We asked for 228,000 towards uh, 14th Avenue, um, which goes behind 16th Avenue all the way down to uh, the parking lot by the train tracks. Um, we, um, it's, it's federal money. We're limited where we can apply because the, the census blocks have to be a certain amount of low to moderate income, but I'm hoping we'll walk out of there with between 150 and 200 would be a good number for that project. So next Monday night, I'll send out an email with, with what happened. Um, as the chief mentioned, we're applying Bergen County open space towards a, a potential turfing project at the rec center. Um, those fields um, need an upgrade. When you talk about recreational space in other Bergen County communities that the towns provide, because the school controls their fields, we are very below average in terms of what's at the rec center. Um, so it, it's not a cheap undertaking, but we're looking for 500 grand from Bergen County open space. We've gotten 
250 to 350 in, in previous years. And then we have Green Acres um, application, which is coming up in June, and that's 25% towards a project cost. So we may be uh, well on our way to about seven, eight hundred thousand dollars towards a project like that, which would be what would be great. at a cost uh, to the taxpayers on that. Uh, I, I think there's an estimate out there. Um, it, it depends how big we do it, but I th it's it's a million and change it is an entire project like that. So it would be 250,000 out of the uh, out of the coffers of the the taxpayers. Yeah, whether we use the trust fund or whether we bond, again, it depends on how much we do. The project's not designed; we're just at, we're, we're collecting the money yeah. from you know. No, no, so, no. I, I, yeah. I, when you can get three quarters, yeah. in a grant, you've got to be foolish not to. I, I think we're going to get close to that. Yeah. So, but yeah, you know, the, we this won't come up again till the end of the year because that's when they'll figure out the money. And we'll all be one year older. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and lastly, this was in the paper a few days ago. Um, Elmwood Park received. Six hundred ninety thousand um, dollars of federal money towards the the boulevard. Um, last year we got two hundred thirty nine from the New Jersey DOT for um, a, a a lighting um, project from Boulevard to Phillip. This application was from Phillip to Broadway. Very competitive. Eighty three towns total asked for a hundred million dollars, and only about a dozen towns ended up getting approved um, and had to split up eight million dollars. Um, so, you know, that, again, that's another project that's, to do it right, is well over a million dollars, but we have 929000 in grant money um, already lined up for it. So that's, that's very exciting. From here, if we choose to, to move ahead at this point, um, you know, that's when the engineers get involved. That's when we really get into the design standards and what types of lights and all those things. Um, but, again, it, it's very exciting that we can, by being patient, make fabulous improvements and get the projects for you know 50 to 80 percent off because of our patience and not just bonding it all at once. So uh, I'm excited to say the least. Progress, Mayor. Thank you. The great words, patience. It's it's very hard to be patient in government because uh, government takes a long time to get things done. But when you do apply a common sense of patience, you do end up in the end uh, a winner. I want to thank you for uh, your leadership in those areas. Uh, I know many years ago I was assigned to do what you're doing, and uh, contrary to what the, you folks out there might think, when you go into these meetings, there's a pot of money, and you have to go in there and fight for it. So it's very important that the person that's in there is fighting, and with the, for that, uh, I want to congratulate you. All right, it's not an easy job. Moving along, Councilwoman Pellegrin. Yes, before I go to my report, I also would like to commend Councilman Gelbach for all his hard work. He took the lead with that and doing a fabulous job, so thank you for that. And also, Councilman Solo, you have the right committee. You're leading the right committee with this youth group. I know it's a passion of yours. I know as being a teacher and a teacher at our high school that the students look up to you, so this, this is your really your dream your baby and you're doing a great great job with it and so is the committee members but i know you started this and it was a thought in your head and i'm very proud of the work that i know you're starting and that will continue you. you're welcome and now i just have a little um the vfw celebration reminder i said it last week but it's very important so this saturday may 22nd come join us at the vfw six veterans place in elmwood park time 12 to 4 p.m Pizza, hot dogs, popcorn, cotton candy, soda, and beer will be offered for purchase. Adults $10 per person. Children $5 per person. Includes one food item and one drink. Also, there will be bouncy houses for the children to play. Please come and support the VFW. It will be a fun afternoon for all. All proceeds will help benefit them. They've been closed for the last 18 months. So if you could come out with your family, it would be a great thing. We'd really appreciate it. Thank you. Progress, Mayor. Thank you, Lorraine. A uh, little bit of good news here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, effective June 7th, Borough Hall will reopen to the public. At first, we will keep the doors locked and the residents can be buzzed in by the clerk's office in a controlled manner. Not to exceed 10 people at one time. Uh, we can experiment with this procedure and see if it needs to be modified going forward. And I have one 60-second commercial uh, to piggyback on top of uh, uh, your commercial for the VFW. Uh, let's all get down there Saturday, help them out. And going forward, uh, they're having a um, 
a music night with, with Elton John. Who doesn't like Elton John? Everybody likes him. So he'll be flying in from England to do the concert at the VFW. Of course, I'm only kidding, but uh, we have someone that does his music excellently. Uh, it's at the uh, VFW Post, the six veteran place, we all know that. Uh, light refreshments, cash bar, raffle, $20 per person. You can't beat that for a night out. Uh, re reservations required, and there's a phone number here to call Terry. We all know who Terry is. Uh, should I give you a phone number out? No, right? <laughs> but why do you got it on the paper then? Oh, it's not your phone number. It's another phone number. I got you. I got you. Okay, let's let's help them out. Uh, with that said, the the 60 second commercial's over, and we're going to move along. I like to uh, at this point open this meeting uh, to the public. May I have a motion? Second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you. Anyone from the public here to speak? Please, yes, dear. Come forward. Come to the microphone. Uh, please state your name and address, and you can speak about anything you like, but direct your questions to me. Good evening. Oh, it's not on. It's on. It's on. Do you have a, a, a committee that is going to help you get through all these items? Mayor, she's part of the youth committee that we started. Uh, we met yesterday. Uh, this is the, uh, an example of the ambition that, that all the, the students and the, the youth that are involved uh, have. They all have great ideas uh, for our community to move forward. Yeah. So we're, we're definitely weighing all those options for you. Good. Okay. So. Yes, please. So I, I love your ideas. I, I love your ambition. Uh, I'm sure Councilman Fasolo can help you along with this, but I'd like to connect you with our recreation director. Would that be okay? Yes. So can I get, not on the microphone, but when you're done, can I get your phone number and I pass it along to him? Yes. Okay, great. Thank you. And let me make one suggestion to you, dear. You, you have a host of initiatives there, which are all great, but the practicality of it in terms of man hours to get this all done with your committee. I'm sure you're going to have, have that workforce. But set your sights, instead of 15, set them on seven, but get the seven done. Well, I'm sure you know that these are great ideas, and this mayor and council will back you as much as we possibly can. We're on the same page as you. Let me let me say that. And I also would like to talk about summer camp. Probably more activities for the kids to do. Uh, I feel like when I was working in with, um, I also did summer camp too at the rec center and at the middle school. And I feel like at the rec center, there's not that much for us to do. Um, when I worked um, in 2018, I feel like, there were, of course, we had uh, games and arts and crafts, and the kids 
kids are mostly outside, most of the day. And I feel like we should have like large venue areas, maybe maybe middle school or the high school, um, to get these kids to have more activities to do. To uh, Mr. Feligno's point, and uh, Mr. Fasolo, uh, th there should be a meeting uh, with the, with the uh, rec director for sure. Yeah, we could set up a, a meeting with you and the direct, uh, rec director, and we could go over the ideas with you and see what we can make happen soon. And remember, a half a loaf is better than none. <laughs> so uh, if, if you ask for too much, sometimes it's impossible. Come in with a, a, a good agenda, and uh, you have, you have our, our blessing and our help. You'll have our blessing and help. So we were talking about yesterday starting a uh, youth kind of like internship uh, program where we they would shadow for a day or two or even sometimes even a week, uh, depending on what field it is, uh, people who work here in, in the municipal building uh, just to get a taste of what um, government and public, uh, the public sector is like uh, to work in. So those are all things that we're, we're working on with the committee and obviously they're very uh, interested in them. So, so somebody will be reciting a, a poem. Yes. Excellent. Beautiful. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. Honor the veterans. <clears throat> Very good. And, and of course, to honor the youth community, too, and everybody else. Yes. And of course, uh, June 1st, we will be at the Pride event. And we also talked about basketball courts and the park. That's good. I've been living in town for 15 years. And Terry Hill has been known as the drug addict part. Yeah. Uh, not many people, or graffiti, not many people come to that part. But now, like, realizing it in 2020 and 21, since the park re-event did renovations, more people come to the park. Yeah. Well, that was our goal, and it sounds like we were successful there. Hmm. That's something to consider going forward, for sure. Uh, I'd hate to be your parents around Christmas time. <laughs> You'd have a big list. <laughs> but God bless you. and uh, Thank you for coming to see Stay the course. Thank you. Yes. Ah, that was refreshing, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Anyone else uh, from the public here to speak? Mr. Roberts, no, oh, we always we always like to see you. We used to complaints. That's our job. That's uh, that's what we here for. 
Mr. Robinson, if you could speak into the mic and maybe just take the mask down so that we can hear you. If, if you want, if you don't, leave it up. But get close to that mic because you've you got to be right up on top of it. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Roberts. Mike, do we have a uh, a meter that measures light that can, we could test the area? No, we don't, Mayor, but I'm sure public service can do an evaluation. You you think we can have that test done? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure we could. I, I I believe the the lights now are LED, and if you go down Market Street at night, it's it's very bright with the decorative ones. Okay. So um, the LED lights are are brighter, and these are even a more modern version of the Market Street ones. So I think once uh, implemented, Mr. Roberts will, will see a difference and, and I think it'll, he'll be happy about okay, it. Okay, so, so what you're saying is when they exchange the lights uh, at that point, uh, we should see if that, uh, that this changed uh, the situation. That's so. my belief, Mayor. The current street lights are, are older. I mean, some of them have been upgraded, but they're very high. The um, decorative lighting are a little lower profile and they are LED and we can go with a whiter version and a brighter version. Um, and we'll make sure that that's implemented into the grant. I can, I can attest to the uh, the fact of these these lights being aged. Uh, it's like myself. I'm not as bright as I used to be. So, uh, all kidding aside, moving along. Uh, yes, Mr. Roberts Jr. Not Jr. Not Jr. The first. Okay, I give up. <laughs> Anyone care to answer that on the on the panel here? No. Mike, can we look into a grant for lighting? If was this NJT you said? No, it was for New Jersey. Um, State of New Jersey, I believe it was, or the federal. But I can get that uh, information again. Yeah, please forward that to us, yep. and then we can give it to uh, our grants person yep. and and uh, stay on their back. You can't argue with the grant if we can acquire that. It makes it uh, a lot cheaper, <laughs> so to speak. Anything else? Anyone else care to speak from the public? I forgot to mention. Hold it. Wait. You want to yield to the young lady? Please.
Okay. We, we got it. Mr. Freitag. <laughs> okay, uh, Jeffrey Freitag, 35 Milton Drive. Just a few things, family concerns one. Um, some of the things that were spoken about last week, and I know in particular, uh, Council, Councilperson Dalvez, was regarding the snow machine. I know that I believe the bond is specified certain things, and but you don't have to spend it all. Was there ever any decisions of whether to use it? I think um, we're still in the process of scheduling a meeting between the professionals of Elmwood Park and Prospect Park to, okay. to vet that agreement. Um, and I think we all left the last meeting with the understanding that we could bond the money, but we're not committed to purchasing anything until we vet that and or and pass a resolution later on. So we're st we're still vetting that, and I'm a big supporter of doing okay, the shared um, service. The other thing was uh, you know, added uh, funding for additional legal I believe that's a, a separate item from GIF. Any, so any, it's not just the police department, Mayor, if I may. It's uh, for other borough matters as well. No, that that would be that's a special counsel to a uh, cost to us. Okay. Um, the other thing was uh, was this. I noticed that there are two uh, awards for a, a process of doing some payment. One is by the library. First of all, to clarify something, it says library street. You mean Lee Street? Lee Street. Between the entrance to the library and Mobile. Road. Yes. Okay. Yes. And the other one is is another spot. They're both. Okay. That's tower equals about twenty-five thousand dollars. Okay. Do you ever get anything written in your audits about uh, getting close to the forty-four thousand bid figure? If you go to the end of the year and you the tower gets sixty, seventy thousand dollars worth of award without bid, public bid. Yeah. Well, uh, Jeff, let me stop you there. Uh, I and uh, please correct me if I'm wrong, Mike. The way I perceive that that 44,000 threshold is per item. Am I wrong or right with that, Michael? No, it's, it's aggregate. In some cases, the CFO is aware of that. He's on top of it. Okay. And we don't have any other projects with Mr. Zaccaro at this point. Okay. Okay. That, 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 that's what I understood. Um, uh, okay, thank you. Right. Uh, yes. Good. Okay, thank you. Okay. I know it's our policy when it comes to bidding, even though we have that threshold, uh, we make it a point, unless it's an emergency, uh, to uh, get bids. So uh, it's just a better way of, uh, of uh, functioning with the, uh, the finances. Anyone else care to speak from the public? If not, I will close the public portion. I think we need a motion to go into executive. First, I need a motion to close the public meeting. So right. move. Motion to close the public meeting first. Second. Okay. And now a motion to to go into executive. So move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Let me get that out of you. <laughs> okay. Right. Um, whereas the Open Public Meeting Act PL 1975 Chapter 231 permits the exclusion of the public from a meeting in certain circumstances, and whereas this public body is of the opinion that such circumstances presently exist, and whereas the governing body wishes to discuss personnel matters, minutes will be kept, and once the matter involving the confidentiality of the above no longer requires that confidentiality, then the minutes can be made public. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the public be excluded from this meeting. 
please be advised that formal action may be taken after the executive session okay so basically you can come back in after the executive session if you so so choose but thank you for those that are going to leave us and and enjoy the balance of this beautiful i could almost say summer night but right we're getting close thank you Uh-huh. Mayor, can I have a motion to enter back into public? Motion to enter back so into moved. public, please. Sorry. We have Dan. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. We're back in public? Yes. Okay. Oh, I needed a resolution. Resolution 211. Okay. Uh, resolution 211-21, appointment of Fire Subcode Official, Fire Prevention Bureau, whereas Fire Subcode Official Philip Chesky will be retiring effective May 28th, 2021, and whereas Stephen Kochuk was appointed as Borough Fire Official via Resolution R-375-18 on October 18th, 2018, and whereas Stephen Kochuk possesses the necessary certification issued by the New Jersey Department of Community Affairs to hold the position of fire subcode official. And whereas the mayor and council of the borough of Elmwood Park deem that it is in the best interest of the borough to appoint Mr. Kochik as the fire subcode official provisionally pending a civil service examination and prom, I don't know what that is, promulgation of an eligible list. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the mayor and council of the borough of Elmwood Park that Stephen Kochik be and is hereby appointed provisionally as the fire subcode official while also continuing his position as fire official for the borough of Elmwood Park, effective. I need a date. 521. Um, 521. Be it further resolved that Mr. Kochik combined salary for said paid position shall be $52,000 with a set minimum of no more than 29 hours per week. Motion. So uh -huh. moved. Second. Discussion. Can I get a clarification on this? I know when we spoke about this, we were concerned that uh, by giving him uh, this additional job, it totally would not cost us more. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. We achieved that goal? Yes. Okay. Okay. Any, uh, any more discussion? No. Nope. Call the roll, okay. please. Ballesteri? Yes. Fakori? Yes. Fasolo is gone. Golubek? Yes. Pellegrin? Yes. And Wenchler is absent. All right. I don't think you have. I believe that concludes uh, our evening. Yes. Can I have a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn, please. Second. All in favor? Aye. We are officially adjourned. Good night, Sandy.